A car stopped in the middle of the street blocking emergency responders. Another getting very close to a city bus. This one seemingly confused by road construction and frozen in its tracks. Finally stopped right before falling into a hole. Some robot drivers in training do not seem to have learned all the rules of the road. I'm seeing at least one incident a day now with autonomous vehicles. For years, the city by the bay has served as the testing ground for a fleet of robo taxis from Google's Waymo and GM's Cruise. Driverless cars you can hail with the touch of a button. But when things go wrong, they are a traffic nightmare and posing real roadblocks for first responders. The autonomous vehicle just like came and blocked them. And Fire Chief Janine them. Nicholson's people say without a driver at the wheel, robot cars often make the wrong choice around fire trucks. They stop in the middle of the street and turn their emergency blinkers on anytime they see flashing lights on an emergency vehicle. When a fire department has to roll out on a call like this, oh! if they can't get to a fire, in time, every minute that goes by, the fire can double in size. Firefighters describe driverless cars rolling into fire scenes, running over hoses, even having to break windshields to stop a vehicle. The technology is not ready for prime time. The director of transportation here says 911 calls about robot cars have tripled in the last year. But here's the thing. We have no regulatory authority over them whatsoever. Even though it's your city that's being affected? That's right. It's our city and our streets, um, but the state of California has preempted municipal authority um, over autonomous vehicles, unlike taxis or scooters. He's filed protests with state officials and says, unlike other industries, robot car companies share only limited data. Crews did not respond to interview requests, but Waymo says robot drivers are on their way to being safer than humans. After all, more than 42,000 Americans died in vehicle accidents last year. We have very infrequent events that occur, but they do get a lot of attention. They say it's three 911 calls a day about autonomous vehicles. So that doesn't sound infrequent, I have to say. Uh, what I mean is relative to the number of miles that we drive and relative to the number of emergency vehicle contacts that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Waymo's chief safety officer says that every mile of the millions driven in California and Arizona teaches the whole fleet new skills. And the company is expanding service here. L.A. is next. We hope to increase the number of rides 10x by next summer. A tenfold expansion of autonomous vehicles here in San Francisco would have a dramatic impact on congestion. It would result in significant delays to our transit system and to emergency vehicle response time. And it might even cause a threat to safety to hear you tell it. Yes. Jake Ward, NBC News, San Francisco. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.